Hi, I'm Steve Johnson from Nebraska Star Beef. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about corn-fed beef. We produce corn-fed beef, number one, because we're in Nebraska and Nebraska produces a lot of corn. Corn-fed beef is not quite as simple as just taking a couple buckets of corn out to each one of the pens and pouring it out for the cattle to eat. Corn-fed beef, typically more of a corn-finished beef. The cattle that come in will start on a grass ration and then we feed them corn silage, which is the whole corn plant chopped. And then we slowly introduce some grain corn that's been steam flaked. That helps the cattle to produce a highly marbled, very tender, very delicious finish in a reasonable amount of time compared to other types of feed. That's a really good question. And the answer is marbling and time on feed. Corn, the grain, contains a lot more energy and a lot more nutritional value than grass. Cattle are a ruminant, which means their stomach has four chambers and they can readily convert cellulose plant products into nutritious, delicious beef that's much more bioavailable for simple stomach creatures like omnivores and carnivores, which is the category that humans fall into. Corn-fed beef differs from grass-fed beef because corn-fed beef is typically more marbled. Marbling's the intramuscular fat that helps to make steaks more tender and because corn-fed animals are typically harvested younger than what grass-fed animals are harvested, which also adds to an improved on-the-plate experience. The short answer is yes. If cattle are out wandering around and they can get into a cornfield, they are absolutely going to eat. And they can eat so much they hurt themselves. Uh, it's very possible. Corn is higher in energy than grass. You know, grass being, you know, the, the big green pasture we all imagine cattle live in their best life on, which is great. But cattle will eat corn, cattle will eat alfalfa, cattle will eat any type of plant that they can get in their mouth because that is what cattle eat. Their stomach is designed to digest cellulose plant matter. They're a ruminant and that's what they do. So corn is absolutely on the natural menu for cattle, 100%. Yes. Cattle come to farmers like us at around 750 to 800 pounds. Up to that point in their life, they've been on the ranch, on the pasture, eating grass. When they come to us, we continue to feed them grass in the form of alfalfa hay, and we begin to implement slowly granular corn into their diet. Over time, the amount of corn that we feed them increases, and this helps to get them finished as efficiently as possible while still creating a very, very high quality beef product. That's a really good question. It depends on what you, the consumer, is looking for. Many purchases can be tied to an emotion. And if you're looking for beef that was raised on the pasture and has eaten grass, then by all means, choose grass fed. But if you're more interested in having a premium steak experience and enjoying the most tender, juicy, delicious steak that money can buy, corn-fed's where it's at, and it always will be. Definitely corn-fed, and if I had to pick one steak for the rest of my life, 
it would be the New York Strip. In particular, a 16 to 20 ounce New York Strip off of an Angus or a Shorthorn and at least 35 days of wet age unless it can spend 21 to 28 on a hanger before it gets broke. And I know that's getting pretty particular, but that to me is the ultimate stake. Thanks for hanging out for the whole video. We appreciate your time. And if you enjoy the content that you saw here today, please hit the like and subscribe button. We, uh, we'd really appreciate that. We appreciate having you here and uh, we look forward to seeing you down the road.